Danny Day here with head cross country coach Norm Burney. We're here for the season previews for both the men's and the women's teams. We'll start off with the men first coach. Uh, a lot of returning talent, a lot of uh, good talent coming in as well. Uh, talk a little bit about who you expect to have big seasons this year. Well, on the men's side, we just really feel good about it. We don't usually have this many people coming back uh, that have experience. We have five, uh, at least five sophomores this year, and we're led by a senior, Justin Holden, who was a top finisher in the conference last year for our men's team. Plus, we have uh, these uh, sophomores coming back. And just to mention a few of them, Andrew Tattersall out of California. He's just really ran solid for us. Craig Bokenegan has just improved so much. Fifth in the steeplechase force in track, and he's going to be one of our team captains. Uh, Wild Trigger out of Washington has just done a great job for us, too, and he's a great cross-country runner. And Zach Steele is somebody we're uh, going to see, I think, a lot out of this year. He's worked very hard. Uh, he does a lot of stuff with music, too, so he's a very busy person. But we're very excited about that. And the incoming freshmen, uh, just a recruiting class we just can't say enough about with the uh, addition of Trey Hargrove out of McKay High School here in Salem, 4th in state in 800, has experience at state uh, in the 6A and cross country. Colby Hansen out of Cresswell High School, to get that right, but uh, Cresswell is a team that has had a lot of success. they got a great cross country and distance track coach down there. We're excited about him. Uh, he placed in state in the 8 and the 15 in track, and he's gone to state and placed in the top 20 in cross country. And then a real exciting uh, addition is Zane West out of Central High School down in Monmouth Independence. He uh, was in the top five in state in 800, ran one year at cross country, and had played soccer before that and made the top 20 in state in the 4A. So we're very excited about what's happening with the guys. So then how about on the women's side? We got some uh, some great returners, obviously strong top of the conference girls, uh, but then also some strong incomers as well. Talk about them. Well, we start out uh, with our girls with Lexi Metzl, fifth in the conference last year. I believe she's the top returner uh, that went to the nationals uh, from the conference because the girls from College of Idaho, including the national champion, graduated. Uh, she's just a great runner. She just works so hard. Uh, just combines uh, running with aqua jogging and a lot of pool work and she just has run great for us all year long. has been to the nationals both in cross country and in track for us and we're led by her and then we have a, a girl from Milton Free Water that played soccer in high school and just kind of played around with cross country to stay in shape from McLaughlin High School. Emily Childers has just done a great job for us, really coming on strong. Just missed the Nationals by one place last year. Uh, you have to be in the top 15, and she was 16th. We're just really excited about what she can do. And then we have uh, Olivia, who just has done a great job for us. Uh, just got married this last weekend, but she's just a hard worker. Olivia Johnson Stuckley now, she just works, uh, just Every day she comes and brings it. She's been to the Nationals twice in the marathon, just puts in the mileage and just really has a great attitude. The newcomers coming in, uh, we're very excited about. We've got Christine Zagara out of Mount Vernon Christian, Washington, a high state placer in the uh, cross country, plus she's a state champion, 800 up there in the small schools. Uh, she's just uh, so exciting uh, to watch and she's going to be a great addition. We have a girl from Cascade High School locally here that's been to state four times in cross country. And uh, Christian LaChapelle is just an intense runner. Her best days are ahead of her. Uh, we're just really excited about what she can bring to the program. And uh, just uh, we have another teammate of hers, Freya Christensen from Cascade, that runs with her want to mention her and uh, we just are very excited about uh, just some of the runners. We got Elizabeth Reardon from Eastland Christian and uh, Anna Maria Christensen from West Albany. Uh, we're bringing in a, a, a great group of girls and one we don't want to forget is Elizabeth Weber. She was on a mission trip last year in Germany. Just a great runner. She was in the top 10 in state all four years in high school on four state championship teams up in Northwest Christian and Lacey, Washington. We're just really excited what she can bring to us this year and really add to our team, giving us another 
veteran runners, so we're very, very excited about that uh, and that addition. So you go through putting together a, a tough schedule uh, this year, really trying to get ready for nationals, hopefully everyone qualifying. What do you take into consideration to, to really get your uh, student athletes ready and make sure that they stay healthy on a weekly basis, but competing at a top level? Well, talking to our coaches, we really try to take every other weekend off and train hard. Uh, Brett Fashholtz has really helped us uh, put together the workout program, and we're preparing these people, hopefully, to get to the Nationals. And our ladies' team has a real good chance to go to the Nationals. And with that in mind, we're going to go to Kansas uh, and uh, run in the pre-Nationals on the course uh, in October, and we're very excited about that. Each weekend on the off days uh, or the off weekends, when we're not running meets, we're running a lot of hard tempo runs to get prepared for that. And the Willamette meet, we're very excited about this year. We were fifth last year, I believe, out of 20-some teams, uh, and we feel really good about it. We're bringing back solid runners to run in that meet. Uh, and then just uh, sprinkling in some other uh, meets with the uh, D3, D2 schools and some D1 competition. We're really excited about the preparation. We're uh, uh, getting ready for the season and for the conference. So at the end of the year, we'll come together again. And if we look back on it, what are you going to deem this season as being successful? What are the goals and expectations that you're going to set out for both your men and your women? Uh, the men, uh, if we can place in the top five, and I've really looked at it closely, if you look at our men's side in our conference, very tough. Many All-Americans coming back. Uh, there's just so many tough teams in the conference. We take usually three, four teams to the Nationals. If we can get the fifth, that's a successful year. We were seventh last year. We were very young. Like I said, we had, uh, I believe, five freshmen on that team with Justin kind of leading them, uh, being a junior. So if we get to the top five, and then uh, if we get the top five, hopefully there'll be a fourth. Uh, but uh, they've worked very hard, the men have, to be successful this uh, season. And I just feel really good about them. We will take some... Uh, Man, hopefully back to the pre-nationals, uh, depending on how they do in the first two meets. So fourth would be a great finish for us in conference. Fifth would be very, very successful season. Uh, ladies' side, we're very excited about that. We were fourth uh, last year. We got the top three girls back. We're bringing in some real uh, talented, we feel, uh, freshman girls. It's going to be tough. Each year uh, we have teams that place in the top five. We had the national champion individual last year. We had, I believe, about uh, six or seven All-American girls in the top 30. So it's going to be tough, but I really feel good about uh, some of the uh, returners we have and the freshmen coming in, and in addition, Elizabeth Weber, um, with the veteran uh, experience that she has, I think we can really compete at that level. So uh, my, uh, I guess, prediction and uh, my hope is that we're in that top three. Uh, we have to be in the top three and probably within 20 points because it's on a voting uh, uh, basis to go to the Nationals. And if you can get within 20 points of the first and second place finishers, you usually get a bid to go to the Nationals. And that would be a successful season. Yeah. Awesome, Coach. Well, I know we're all excited here. Uh, Warrior Nation's ready to get going and support you guys. So good luck this season and uh, uh, looking forward to seeing you out there on the course. Thank you, Danny. It's going to be a great year no matter what happens because our kids are positive. They're coming in with a great attitude.